I always love to uh, watch people when the one time when Diaz gets hit by that campfire. It's, I've never failed. Like, I, I one time I told my, this was my daughter, I said, watch the whole theater, and the entire theater jumped. I thought, perfect. It's exactly what we want, you know? Yeah, this this movie, I was at the edge of my seat, I'm, and I had a sleepless night last night. Thank you very much. Did you really? So, That's great. I'm actually happy. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me, what, were the most, what was the most challenging aspect, um, I mean, of this film? I mean, did you check the weather forecast before you left? No, you know what? We couldn't, because we had, we had 40 days to shoot the film so we had to kind of go up on this mountain in Smithers in British Columbia and we had to and you know all things considered mother nature was fairly kind to us we didn't really get we didn't lose a lot of time up there and we could have lost weeks if we had, if we had ran if we'd run into like if it just been sunny every day which it wasn't um, I, we would have been in a lot of trouble so it was kind of there was a lot of cooperation from from uh, the elements but that the weather was very tricky and the wolves are very tricky. You know, live animals are always tricky. And, uh, and, then the, and then the schedule, you know, we had a very short period of time to shoot it. So those three things were the most difficult. Did I think with the weather, did any of the cameras break down? I mean, was it that cold? We had a crane break down uh, completely. I mean, and I mean freeze to the point we thought we had oh, to replace it. So, um, but it, all it did was just, I was, I was so angry that day at this, at this, because also the guy running the crane crew was kind of a disagreeable fellow which was not the attitude you wanted to bring to this set. So it was kind of a, a kind of a culmination of things that had me kind of blowing my stack. But it was, but yeah, that, that, that was the one time. Now, we at Slept.com want to know about the wolves. What, um, was any CGI involved or were yes. the puppets? How, how did, how, they look so realistic. Well, it's a, it's a combination of the real ones and then there's some CGI and there's some animatronic. And we, we endeavored to kind of make them seamless so you couldn't tell what was what. But I'm glad, I'm glad it worked for you, you know. And, and what do they re represent in the story of survival? I think they're like a force of nature. They're like anything else. It's like the blizzard or the river or the cliffside or anything else. It's like it is a, they are intended to be a, to be a, a facet and thereby a force of nature. Now this is the second time you've worked with Liam. You worked yeah. with the, obviously with the A-team. Uh, can you talk about casting him and uh, what's he like to, to, to be around? He's, Liam is, uh, Liam doesn't have any pretense about him at all as a big star and Liam, the thing that's so, so lovely about Liam is he's always more interested in you than you are in him. And I think that's what he doesn't, Liam doesn't carry the business around in his head all the time. He's just this very normal, lovely man. And, and what you see is what you get, you know. He's not like a, this really sweet, wonderful guy on camera and he's a monster behind the scenes. He, he is that guy. Just very a professional, dignified, lovely, humorous, what you'd want. What you'd want ideally to work with in an actor. So what's the best way to ward off a ferocious wolf? Cover yourself in meat. And, no, I'm kidding. Uh, you know <laughs> what? Crouch really small. You, like uh, we always say, it's like you, you, you look him in the eye and you just stand your ground, you know. But, but, uh, but uh, that, that, that's not where these guys were. But that's one wolf. We're not talking about one wolf in this. We're talking about several, so. Were there any injuries on them? I mean, it looked like they were, I mean, so many things could have gone wrong the way it looked like. It, we saw yeah. so much blood. So. I know. No, you know what? We didn't. Uh, you know what's amazing? I'm so thankful for this. We didn't have a single uh, person hurt on the set at all, which was great. Nor do we have any wolves hurt, so that's also good. Um, okay, so give me an elevator pitch. Why should we at Slips.com go and see this movie? I think it's, uh, if you love the kind of the action thriller genre, it's completely up your... Uh, your alley, and if you are a fan of stuff that's deeper than what it appears to be and gives you something to think about at the end of a film, then this is absolutely your movie.